Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome in to another episode of Cos Collects. In today's episode, I got a big old binder to show you and it is slam packed with vintage Pokemon cards. Let's get into it. All right, so before we get into the binder, if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know the one card that I wanted to pick up, the one card that I made the mistake of selling when I was a kid. I went out and bought a PSA slapped card. It's not, not in great shape, but the card that I had when I was a kid wasn't perfect either. So I went out and bought myself a PSA three. So that's very good condition. Charizard base set. Look at that. So a card that I had when I was a kid that I sold 16 bucks like an idiot i went out and dropped a uh, you know a few dollars on a psa 3 charizard there's some scratching there's some fading on the charizard a little bit it's not perfect you can see on the corners there's whites all over the place so it's not a, it's not like the greatest condition card but i can finally say i have a charizard back in my collection now after i acquired this psa slab my cousin came down from new york and he came bearing gifts and when i say gifts i mean it so i'm gonna zoom this bad boy out all right so this binder is almost too big so i don't know how much of this is actually gonna fit but as you can see we have base set pokemon cards here so if we start at the top you see alakazam blastoise chancy charizard look at it this one's in much much better shape than that charizard that i just showed off yeah take a look at that guy crispy we have clefairy gyarados hitmonchan a first edition machamp i feel like that one i see a lot more first edition for that guy magneton mewtwo nidoking king nine tails i'm not gonna name everything but as you go through them you'll see we are not missing a single card in base set all the way through. Do you have a favorite Pokemon that was in the base set? We got it. And we just fly through these. Boom. Now we get into jungle. And the same goes here. Not missing a card. Scyther, Hollow, one of my favorites. I love Scyther. Try to get that guy on camera. Yeah. Like, just look at all of this stuff, right? I'm trying to get a little bit of everything on here. We move. Oh, here we go. Let's get this page. Snorlax is a hot one. Vaporeon, I love. And then we just keep on going through. He's got the hollow and non-hollow versions. Well, I should say I have now, since this was gifted to me. What a gift too, right? You can't ask for a cooler gift, right? And then you got, we start Fossil over here, Aerodactyl. It runs through, we have Articuno, Ditto, Dragonite, Gengar. I had this card too. I think this was part of the, uh, the bundle that I had sold. Pretty cool. I love Gengar, one of my all time favorite Pokemon. Haunter right there, Hitmonlee, Hypno, Kabutops, Lapras. Keep on trucking here. Let's go over to the next page. Raichu, Raichu, Magneton, Moltres is cool. Then the non hollow versions come in. Plus, so much more. Just tons of cards. Once we get past that, we get into the Team Rocket set. Some, some of the cool ones from Rocket we have Dark Alakazam. Sick card. Another hot card right here. The Dark Blastoise. Jeez. And these guys are in pretty decent condition. I don't know how my cousin John had the foresight to keep these things so well protected, but he did. And look at them. The Dark Charizard Hollow. Another one that a lot of people like is this Dark Dragonite. It's another cool one. A card that stood out to me that was really cool was this. Dark Gyarados with the pre-release stamp. It's a very cool card. Plus all the rest as you get through them. 
I'm not like I said, I'm not gonna stop at all of them. Um, a lot of people like the here's here comes Team Rocket, Hollow. The Hollow pattern on there not as cool as celebrations in my opinion, but uh, it's still dope. That Hollow Rainbow Energy. That one's a cool one. A bunch more uh, non hollows that go in these sets. And then, we go, I'll just slide this guy up. You can see some more stuff. Boss's Way, Imposter Professor Oak's a cool one. And then we get into, so then he started collecting some modern sets. Before we get into the modern, I'll show you the Dark Raichu, which is pretty cool. Secret. 83 out of 82. It's pretty dope. And then Vivid Voltage was one of one of the big uh, modern sets that he collected. Some cool ones in Vivid. The Celebi Amazing Rare, very cool. But we'll get to the, the real good stuff in a minute. You kind of go through a little bit here, a little bit there. This is a reverse Charizard, right? There's some stuff. I'm not gonna like stop at any of these guys. They're not like super important. Um, some cool ones I will point out here is the Pikachu V Max card. A lot of people love the Pikachu V Max. That's heat. You got the Raikou Amazing Rare. Sick card. Ampharos V. Uh, some more stuff. Just, you know, some, some rares, commons, reverses. Just a bunch of stuff like that. Nothing super crazy. I'll let you check out the pages as I flow through them until I see something. Um, on this page, off screen a little bit, was the Zamazenta Amazing, which is dope. Another beautiful card. Drapion V's cool. Steelix V I like. <laughs> so much stuff. Look at all these guys, right? We're not even to the goods yet. This is cool. Togekiss V Max. V Maxes are worthy of being shown off, I think. Tug Kiss, sick card. And then we get to the goods. So here we have some full arts. Talonflame is one of my favorites. I know a lot of people like Pikachu, but I think this Talonflame card is really cool. The blue just co contrasts with that orangey red color right there, which I think is super sick. And then we get to the crazy stuff. You got rainbows all over the place, some gold cards all over the place. So some of the heaters, I will point out the biggest chase card in this set is the Pikachu VMAX. The big old rainbow Chompachu. A lot of people love, love, love that card. Um, I think Nessa is a sick, sick full art. The rainbow is really cool. And then you got some golds. I think Galarian Obstagoon in the gold card looks like it's a shiny, so it looks really, really unique and cool, in my opinion. Narangaroo is really cool too. Some of these other trainer cards are cool. And then you get to the next set, which is Battle Styles. So for me, Butterfree, being like a Gen 1 guy, Butterfree mattered more to me, I think, than uh, some other Pokemon. One of my favorite bug types, if not my favorite bug type of all time. So the VMAX here is pretty dope. We'll kind of fly through this. Oh, well, we would, but yes, yeah, see, we got the Charizard VMAX right there. Pretty badass. There's the Charizard Vs right next to it, but it's nothing crazy, so I'm not going to really pull it. You got some more goods on that page. More goodies on here. Just some regulars. There's the Vicavolt V down there. Nothing crazy else on that page. The Mew V up in the top left corner. This binder's so, so big that I, it doesn't even fit on screen. But it's okay. I'm making it work. I'm pulling stuff around so I can show you. There you go. We got Rhyperior V, one of my favorite rock type Pokemon. If not my favorite, actually. Eternatus V is pretty cool. Scizor. Scizor's a heater of a card, too, in my opinion. So the VMAX Scizor, uh, very cool to get. Love that. Like, my collection easily took a jump right here. Like, the biggest jump of all time. Some more stuff. Some more stuff. Okay. Salamence VMAX is cool. Got a pretty dope dragon. 
take those if this isn't the coolest thing ever like bro. Uh, oh and here we go this page like kind of blew me away a little bit so the butterfree v card is so cool this is darkness blaze i think darkness of blaze has the best uh full arts hound doom v super cool I, you know what, and for me, it's Butterfree is one of my favorite, Rhyperior is one of my favorite, Crobat is one of my favorite, Sizzle is one of my favorite, so they just have all of my guys, like, like they're damn near building my all-star team, just in full art cards, the Crobat B, cool, and of course, the Sizzle or B card, another cool one, you, as you see the rest, I guess I'll pull out the rainbow just because it's really dope. Rainbow Butterfree V Max, probably my second favorite card in the entire set, maybe third favorite actually. I'd say this is my favorite card in the set. Scissor V Max, kind of biased because I pulled it early on in this collecting journey. Um, if you go back to the, some of the older videos, you'll see me pull it for the first time. I think it was my first rainbow card I ever pulled, so super cool. Special meaning to me, you know. And then just a few more other cards here. Nothing crazy really. The Gold Colossal up at the top. And then the EVV Max down there at the bottom. But it turns this V Max is cool too. Some other pre release cards, some promos and whatnot. But yeah, a lot of cool stuff. So, really quickly, before I wrap things up, I'm going to go back to this and I'm just going to show off some of the cool base sets stuff because this is like the old vintage cool things. Blastoise, number two in the set here you go alakazam was definitely one of the cards that was in that 16 dollar bundle that i sold when i was 16. number one in the set hollow we love those i already showed off charizard i mean i'll show it again it's fine who doesn't love a good charizard right and this guy's in pretty good shape i'm really nervous to take it out of this but i'm gonna do it anyway just like as you can see like borders and stuff like it's in pretty good shape it's not perfect i don't think it's perfect i don't think it would get a 10 but probably like an eight or a nine at the very least i'm not really sure if there's any scratching or anything on that but it doesn't really look like it it's a beautiful card it is not quite the holy grail of pokemon cards but it is one of the biggest chase cards for any collector mewtwo was definitely in that bundle of cards i sold like an idiot <laughs> uh what seems like a more common of the big three the venusaur hollow right there zapdos is dope let's see i'm just gonna show off like a few more of the the vintage guys just because i feel like that's like cool stuff that not everybody has or gets to see and since it's new stuff to me it's like uh i'm, I'm like a little kid on christmas right now flareon from jungle the hollow it's really cool jolteon's my favorite of the evolutions Maybe my favorite lightning of all, lightning type of all time. Which is a sick card. This is one of my favorite cards, like period. Scyther's cool, I'm not gonna really show that one though. Let's see, we'll go past jungle. Let's get into fossil really quickly. I don't know if I pulled Gengar. I don't think I did. So I'll show it really quick. Gengar, the Dragonite. A lot of people love Dragonite, I know that. And that's just a beautiful card. There's basically no first edition in here, but that's totally like cool. Oh, there you go. Here's one. A first edition Zapdos. Hollow. What you like? The Raichu. There you go. Number 14 in the set. Hollow Raichu. And then there's just some more stuff in here. Uh, Team Rocket stuff. I know I pulled Blastoise and Charizard. At least I remember pulling Charizard. Alakazam. Dark Dragonite's real dope. Here's one of my favorite cards in this set is the Dark Slowbro. It's not even because of the Slowbro, but it's because if you see right there, there's a uh, Team Rocket Grunt just in the background, which is really cool. And the way it's printed, it just looks so dope. I'd say that's one of the best designs probably of any Pokemon card, in my opinion. Kind of same with this, a little less cool in my opinion, but still pretty dope is the Magneton, how you see like the shadow of a Team Rocket Grunt in the background. It's pretty cool too. Gosh, guys, there's so, I'm like blown away at how much stuff there is. Like we went from zero to 100 when it came to the vintage collection for sure. This is another really sick card. It's not hollow, but 
look at how dope that gold duck is, right? Just like shooting like a, what is, that's probably psi beam. I guess in this case, probably like, I don't know if it's third eye or super side, but it looks like side beam in my opinion. So I'm just gonna call it that. A different dark Jolteon artwork, I like that. I have this dark Raticate in a PS or a CGC 9, 9.5, I believe, which is really cool. I know it's a common or uncommon card. No, it's common, common card, but it's still dope. The Squirtle is very, very nice. One of my favorite Ponytail artworks that was ever made. This is a dope one. I showed off the Raichu earlier. And I think, I mean, there's no reason to go through all the uh, the other complete sets again. So as you can see, huge step up. Now, if you guys like this type of stuff where I show off binder collections, I got two more binders of this size from my cousin as well. So if this video does well enough, we'll do one more video. We'll just make it a two-part series on binder collections. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and hit the sub button. Hit the little bell if you want to get notifications for when my new videos come out. It's usually every Sunday. That's what we aim for. If you like this type of video, make sure you hit that like and also like leave me a comment on like what other sets you'd be interested in seeing. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff. Like I said, there's two more binders of the same size that I just showed you. There's tons and tons of cards. Not so much vintage for the rest of the stuff. I shut off most of the vintage today, but there's a bunch of other completed sets and some really cool cards that I could show off. So if you like this type of video, you like going through the binders and whatnot, we'll definitely run it back and we'll do a part two. If not, we'll go back to the sealed stuff, but you know, just let me know what you like, what you wanna see, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.